Now today's episode, we're going to be running on black coffee. Yo, Kapo fans, welcome back to another exciting episode on the Kapo channel. I'm Theo LaRue, your host, and my co-host today, Wayne Barrows, the coffee guy. So, Wayne, maybe give them a short introduction to who you are. Um, I am a coffee specialist. I've been doing coffee for about 14 years right now. And uh, yeah, I specialize in everything from barista training, development, profile development uh, for roasters and around coffee. Um, I do a bit of work with some green bean brokers and um, more importantly, um, training. Training on the home barista on how to prepare coffee better, training um, industry baristas how to understand coffee and prepare that better. So it's all just to give you guys a better in cup, um, in cup, uh, drinking experience. That's it. At the end of the day, it's all about you guys. That's why we do this. I get so many questions on why black, why not sugar, why this, why that. So today, I brought to the table, because you guys always see me and always hear me mumbling on, I thought I'll bring someone in that's been in the coffee industry way longer than me and get some of his knowledge to you guys as well. Cool. So, so yeah, Theo, you know, black coffee, we, we often think about black coffee in all forms, whether we bring it at home in, um, in fancy, or not fancy, in very simple filter making apparatus, whether we're using plungers or whether we're playing around with instant coffee. Correct, correct. We always see black coffee as something that is either not the same, different, under, and a lot of the times under our milk based drinks. Correct. So our cappuccinos and our lattes and our flat whites. Okay? Yes. What we don't realize is that black coffee is essentially its own recipe, its own drink. All right. And it can be as beautiful or even a little bit more fuller, richer, um, and fuller flavor than what its milk cousins are. Correct. Okay. Now, guys, notice that he just used the word flavor. Now, flavor is very, very important when it comes to coffee. Especially black coffee. Yeah. Yeah, so flavor flavor in black coffee, in black coffee is everything. That's Remember, it. we don't have milk to provide extra balance of flavor. We don't have milk to provide extra richness. What we have is we have raw coffee. That's it. All right, so with black coffee, and whenever you're making black coffee, and this, this is from instant coffee all the way through to espresso-based black coffees, which will be your typical Americano, it's all about understanding flavor. It's all about understanding the weight of coffee. That's it. Because... You know, with a cappuccino, we can we we can add milk to it, and if we've made a little bit of a mistake as a barista with the flavour of the coffee, or under extracted or over extracted our coffee, what often happens is we can hide that negative flavour with a bit of milk. That's correct. It's hiding what they should have been with what you've got right now. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And with black coffee, we can't. No, nope. we're not adding anything to it. So Pure all that. All that I want to taste when I make a black coffee in any form of brewing principle is I want to taste coffee. I want to taste what flavor that coffee was produced with. That's it. And remember, guys, that's why we drink coffee. Now, if you enjoy a cup of coffee to get that next hit, that's good. But we enjoy coffee for what coffee truly is. And that brings us to the first question. What is black coffee? What defines a black coffee? Well, I think it's very simple. What defines a black coffee is the fact that we're using water and coffee. That's it. And coffee is the base. And that's what defines black coffee. Okay. From a, from a brewing perspective, we've been brewing black coffee from a South African perspective. We've been brewing black coffee for years and years and years. We start off with your typical mood coffee, if you can call Correct. it. Correct. Okay. Sock, coffee in a sock, on the fire, and you just let that brew. For as long as you can. For as long as you can. <laughs> until it becomes as stiff as it possibly is, and it wakes you up. And, <laughs> and you know what? That's fine. There's a beauty behind that type or style of coffee. Mm. Black coffee goes a little bit more um, into the taste and the flavor of coffee. So we look historically. Our traditional way of blue brewing black coffee was traditionally Ethiopian coffee ritual. Correct. Or then Turkish or Ottoman Turkish and Greek style coffee. Now, if you look at Turkish coffee today, that's been made in your either your e-brick or an electrical version of it. Mm. That essentially is black coffee. 
That's, that's it. That's finely, finely ground coffee mixed with water, water added to it, water added to it. Yes, they may add a certain amount of spice or they may add some sugar, but it, essentially it's water and coffee. That's it. And it's served as a black liquid. Correct. The key behind that is, is to have that beautiful coffee taste coming through that liquid. But let's be honest, if it tastes crap, we're never going to drink it. Definitely not. Okay, or we so. might add 15 or 20 you know, spoons of sugar just well, to get it down. We might we don't do want that. to waste it. <laughs> we might do that. So the essence behind black coffee is it's always been a, a coffee and water ritual. And a coffee and water balance. When we say balance, you know, we have to see making black coffee as a recipe. Just That's like a, you would making, you know, a chocolate cake. Exactly. If there's no recipe to it... How do we know that we're getting the direct benefit of that coffee? How do we know that we're getting flavor? Or the perfect flavor that they actually intended for you to actually enjoy. Absolutely. And that brings me to the simplest of the simplest of the simplest coffee that we drink. Instant coffee. Oh, okay. Love it. Everybody's always asking about instant everyone coffee. Everyone always asks about instant coffee and everyone thinks that it's, you know, created in the lab, blah, 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 <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Instant coffee comes from us roasting coffee, brewing that coffee, and then dehydrating it. Correct. And that's the simplest form of it. Yeah. If you look on a can or on a bottle of coffee, it says use 1.2 or 1.25 grams of coffee. Note, guys, go and read on the bottle because I promise you, you all take two or three spoons to get that bigger coffee flavor. That's it. But it actually states how much coffee you should be using with your water. That's it. So it's between 1.25 and 1.8 grams of coffee. And nobody and uses that. And nobody uses that. Of course not. It's because a why? spoon. Because it's a teaspoon. What yes. does a teaspoon have? Well, today my heat teaspoon has seven grams. Exactly. And tomorrow my flat teaspoon has four grams. Exactly. And now, and now my coffee is weak because, and I don't know why. Absolutely. <laughs> or it's too strong. Yes. And it's too strong. It's too bitter. And I think to myself, this is why I don't drink this terrible, crap bitter coffee. Crap coffee. Yes. And it's not. It's just not being made correctly. And we've got to look at all forms of coffee as. Taking care of the coffee. And when I say taking care of the coffee, coffee hates heat. I know this is weird, and I know this is weird for you guys <laughs> to understand, okay? But coffee hates heat. You can burn a coffee. And 95% of us that have ever had a coffee have tasted burnt coffee. Correct. So let's try and not burn our coffee. And the way that we do that is, well, we just regulate our water. Correct. Make the water slightly cooler so you don't, don't, you don't burn the coffee. We and don't. that actually drives me to, the, to another question. A question that comes up very, very often is, does black coffee have to be bitter? And I think you'll probably be the best one to explain, you know, the, the, the graphics around that and why. So, so coffee, the bitterness behind coffee, the bitter taste behind coffee, and that's an aftertaste. Mm. The aftertaste is bitterness. All right, it's, a, it's an aftertaste that we get from a burning coffee. Correct. Okay, so changing the actual chemical structure of it. Okay, it's a bitterness we get from under extracting or over extracting coffee. So, what that means is, is too much hot water being extracted through our coffee. So, not using enough coffee. That's it. Or when you grind coffee, it being too coarse or too fine. Mm. Too fine, water will run through too slow and it will burn our coffee. Too coarse, water will run through too fast. Okay, it won't necessarily burn our coffee, but you won't be extracting the fullness of the flavor that we want in our coffee. Exactly. And what that does, if we look at a spectrum, a ru ruler from bitter, under-extracted, to bitter, over-extracted, the common denominator there is bitterness. Very bitterness. On B both bitterness sides on of both the scale. Side. What we want to do is we want to play somewhere in the middle. That's where it. we take bitterness, we reduce it. Now, coffee should always be bitter. It should always have a bitter undertone to it, and that's an aftertaste. I always call it the flavor. Absolutely. It might have a flavor of bitter on the back of your tongue because that's where you pick up on bitter flavors. You're always gonna, if you focus on the back of your tongue, you'll always get the bitter. But yes. you've got a whole tongue to focus on, guys. And the purpose of a coffee professional is to balance out coffee. Correct. And what that means is we should have sweetness, body, acidity, and then bitterness. That's it. That's how it has to work. It's one of the flavors. There we go. It's one of the flavors. So, let's keep that in mind. When we're working on that scale, the correct amount of coffee, the correct heat of water, the correct recipe. 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 A question that comes up very, very often, is black coffee healthier than 
adding things to coffee, like like yeah, cappuccinos yeah. and lattes and so on and so forth. So it's beautiful because I get that question and I get asked that question. The answer that I have is <laughs> is exactly the same for everyone. Are potatoes bad for you? <laughs> okay. Now potatoes aren't bad for you. They're yeah. good for you. It's the cream. This cream spinach <laughs> and the the cream and the chives and the sauces I put onto the, the potato. potato that's bad for you. Okay, correct. And that answers the question around coffee: Is black coffee healthy for you, mm. or the healthier alternative out of the coffee recipes for you? Better question. Absolutely, it is. It's coffee and water. There are very few things on this planet that are more healthier for you yes. than that. Gorgeous black gold. We hope that you guys love coffee more. We hope that you drink coffee more now. And thank you so much for joining us on this episode. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this episode and subscribe if you have not. Please, if you, if you enjoy these videos, there's a little bell down here. Just hit that little bell notification. You'll get every single other upload and we'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks, Wayne. Awesome. Thanks, guys.